Hey Angus, uh, Paul here. Got your bike up on the lift. Uh, got your gold chain installed. That's very stylish, I have to say. You're going to get a lot of attention from the ladies with a chain like this. <laughs> um, and uh, just finishing off your oil change, and uh, I wrote the mileage of when you should do your next oil change. That's uh, 37,442 kilometers, and it was done August 2023. Um, but the real reason I'm shooting this video is this leaf here. Um, when I was installing the chain and sprockets, uh, this leaf, disgusting as it is, fell out from underneath. And I kind of flinched, you know, because it kind of kind of looks a little like a mouse. But it reminded me of, um, of a time when I was, uh, I guess, a, a motorcycle mecha mechanic. <laughs> I was a motorcycle apprentice. I was working at a dealership um, with quite a few service bays in it. I'm just going to set this up so I can finish off the oil change. Hey! <laughs> All right, can you see? You see okay there? Oops. There, yeah, like that. All right. Um, make sure this doesn't fall because that would suck if it did. Uh, but yeah, I was working at a dealership and uh, there, were, there were several bays all in a row. And um, we... This one's empty. We... Um, he, I can't remember what he was doing to the bike, but all I remember it was one of those really go fast bikes. It was like a, a Blackbird or a Hayabusa or ZX14, something like whew, one of those really fast bikes. Anyway, he um, he was working on the bike, and I don't know what he, exactly he was doing. I was working a couple of bays over from him, and I guess he just he spun the rear wheel, you know, like just like this. And when he did that, uh, much like on the other side. Uh, a mouse uh, fell out on and hit the deck of his of his work work bay, and he lost it. Like I mean, he just ah! his voice went up super high. He fell back. He's like this. Oh my god, it's a mouse! Ah! <laughs> and we um, we uh, we had a remote fuel supply uh, for motorcycles set up on a. It kind of looks like an ivy stand, you know, when you're at the hospital and they put ivy on you, a little stand. This one's dripping fuel, and um, it was just, like, behind him. And uh, when he's just screaming ah, like this, he falls backwards, hits that, splashes gas all over him, splashes gas all over the ground. He slips, stumbles, and falls, gets down on his hands and knees, and scampers out towards the service rider's office. And the service rider is freaking out. His eyes are huge, and uh, he's like, oh, my God, ah! <laughs> Throws his tools down. He's running for his life. And, uh, okay, that's about right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, all the other technicians are seeing all this commotion. So they start freaking out. So everyone's, like, running away. <laughs> so before, you know, a few minutes has passed, a few seconds have passed, uh, the shop is empty. And all 16 of us are, are, like, all on top of this one little stool. We're holding on to each other's belts and sleeves, like, ah, ah, it's a mouse. Ah! God, it was the most ridiculous scene I think I have ever experienced in all my years of being a bike mechanic. But um, there we are, and we can't. We have to figure out what we're gonna do. Like one of us has got to go back in there and deal with this mouse, right? So, so we we make our way off of that little stool, all sixteen of us, safely down to the ground. And you know we're going, going back to the shop, like you know, like what are we gonna do? Fucking mouse on me. <laughs> Anyway, we make our way back to the shop, and um, sure enough, we're on the, we're on the, we get to his lift, and there is. It is actually a mouse, but it's not alive. It's dead. And, uh, and I don't know how or whatever, but there was either it was a hair or a piece of fishing wire or something like that. Um, but um, if you could see me very well. Ooh, that's better. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it was. It was either a hair or a piece of fishing wire or something like that. But um, it, it had wrapped around the mouse. And I guess when he spun the wheel, the string was still attached. But it, it, the mouse had like this sort of, like it looked like it was alive. Like anyone would have thought that it was this little thing. But it had to have been perfect. Like it had to been lying right there. You spin the wheel and the string would do whatever it was doing and pull on this mouse. Anyway... That is the story of, <laughs> oh, 
of the mouse in the bike shop uh, that I used to work at years, decades ago. Uh, and seeing that little leaf, I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> even my voice gets high thinking about that. But it was funny thinking about that back in those days because that was, I mean, I think it was even before the days of WCB where they would have had a field day uh, with that because he he was okay. I mean, he was got gas all over him. He was wearing coveralls and we changed him out of his clothes and got him all cleaned up and he was fine. But um, boy, oh boy, just his reaction was just... <laughs> never forget it the funniest thing anyway gonna clean off all this oil that had spilled out over your bike and um, secure the oil cap of course and you will have to just keep an eye on that and, uh, and I think that's it um, yeah just wanted to share that story with you just topping up the oil sorry about the noise All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>